what is going on everyone welcome back to another swift video in today's video we're going to learn how you can get rid of the main storyboard file in your uh, project and you can basically boot up into your first view controller all programmatically so here we have a project there's no main storyboard we're going to hit the button and you'll see we're going to jump into our home view controller which is blue and has a nice title since this whole thing is embedded in a navigation controller so Fairly simple video today, but super critical to understand this part of the app lifecycle and how to do it fully programmatically. So that said, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Consider hitting subscribe for iOS videos. Start off by destroying that like button before we get into it. That said, get code ready, get excited. Let's talk about some storyboard list applications. Quick pause before the video. This video is brought to you by iosacademy.io. If you're interested in building some of the top apps from around the world, like YouTube, Instagram, Uber, and Facebook, head on over to iosacademy.io and toss in your email in the waitlist form here to be notified as content becomes available. Content includes interview prep, free courses, premium content, how to build TikTok, Messenger, Instagram, and anything else you could think of in between. That said, let's get into the video. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started by opening up Xcode and creating a new project here. We're going to stick with the app template under the iOS tab. And let me go ahead and give this a name of No More Storyboard. And make sure your uh, interface here is Storyboard, your Lifecycle UI kit, and of course your language is Swift. Go ahead and continue. And we're going to save this guy to our desktop here. And let me go ahead and expand our Xcode window. Let's go ahead and also give this a run in a simulator. We've got the 12 Pro Max looking good. I'm gonna hit that play button and we should see our empty app pop up. So first and foremost, uh, the thing to understand is how is our app actually uh, booting up uh, to begin with, right? Like how does the project know, how does the OS know uh, to go to this white screen, which is actually our view controller here? Uh, well, when we selected the lifecycle uh, as UI kit and the interface as storyboard, what it does is, uh, it be Xcode, is it creates this main.storyboard file for you, and then it links up this view controller uh, as the initial controller. You see this is checked on the right over here, and then it also attaches it to the class view controller. So cool. So we're, we're in view controller here, and let me go ahead and we can just give this a nice background color just so we can validate uh, that it is in fact this controller here. So I'm gonna do some blue, and then we're gonna go ahead and delete that storyboard because we're not a fan of storyboards. So here's our blue uh, controller. So let me go ahead and get rid of this main storyboard because we're gonna boot into our uh, view controller with code. So I'm gonna right click it, hit delete, and then we're gonna hit move to trash. So cool, it's in the trash now, and let's go ahead and hit run, let's see what happens. So one of two things. We're either gonna see a black screen or our app is gonna crash. So here, our app has crashed. So why has it crashed? Uh, the reason it's crashed is pretty simple. Before, our storyboard was pointing to, the, to this controller, so our app knew you know, what primary controller to show when the app launches, but it doesn't know anymore. So we need to actually go to both the app delegate and scene delegates, and we need to go ahead and make some adjustments uh, to actually show this view controller. And what we can do now, since we don't have that storyboard to care about, let me call this home view controller. And I'm also gonna rename the file to be a little more appropriate for home view controller. And before we start writing code in here, we need to go to our info.plist, and you'll see there's an entry in here called main storyboard file base name. Go ahead and select it, and you'll see it's main over here. Just go ahead and hit backspace to delete it. Next up, you wanna open up this application scene manifest and keep opening these up until you get to the very bottom of it. And in here, you'll also see an entry for main right here. So go ahead and select it. And once again, hit backspace one more time. And then we're gonna jump into our app delegate and write some code. But let me go ahead and hit that run button. And what you'll notice now is the app doesn't crash anymore but we see this basically black empty app, right? We don't see our nice blue screen. The reason it's not crashing anymore is because uh, we deleted those entries in the P list. So Xcode isn't basically saying, hey man, what gives? I don't see this main storyboard thing. So it doesn't crash now, but it also doesn't load our controller. 
So an application did finish launching here in the view controller, rather here in app delegate, we want to show our view controller and create a window. So I'm going to come in here and say let window is a UI window, which is the primary window for our application. And we're going to create it with a frame and this is going to be the entirety of the screen. So UI screen dot main dot bounds. Then we're going to make the window key and visible. And in the middle middle here, what we want to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and say the window dot root view controller is going to be our home view controller just like that. And before we give this a run, we want to say self dot window equals window. And of course, we don't have a self dot window yet. So I'm going to come up here and we're going to say var let me go ahead and do that up here. We're going to say var window is a UI window, just like that. Go ahead and run it. You may or may not see your blue screen. We still don't see it. So what gives? So we actually need to take all of this code. And we also need to do the same thing in the scene delegate here. So open up your scene delegate and you'll see this function, which is will connect to session. You can go ahead and delete all this commented out code. And let's uh, put in our code here and then we'll talk a little bit about what the heck this scene delegate thing is. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And instead of creating the window here with a frame, we have this guard let up here. So I'm going to say this let is going to be a window scene. And we're going to create this UI window with that window scene. So I'm going to open up the constructor, find the window scene and go ahead and do that. Go ahead and give it a run one more time. And now what you'll see what you should see is your blue screen. So you're now booting your application and you're connecting your initial controller in the window as your home view controller, uh, fully circumventing the main.storyboard. We in fact deleted it. But uh, let's talk about what this is. So in our app delegate, you know, this function is pretty straightforward. Application will rather did finish launching with launch options. We're creating the base window for our app. We're assigning the default view controller. We're saying window make key invisible. So basically make it the primary window and show it. And then we're just retaining the window. But what is a scene thing? So some of you may already be aware, the scene delegate can manage multiple windows in your app. So if you think about an iPad app that can run a multi window where you have you know, two windows side by side, you might have two different scenes. So the reason you need to put this in here is because your scene delegate also needs to be aware of the window, hence this uh, var window was already here, but we added it to the app delegate so we can also properly show your uh, root view controller, which in this case is the home view controller. So we'll do one more thing and then we'll wrap up here. Let's say we wanted to wrap this whole thing in a navigation controller. Let me just be uh, lazy, I'll just do it right here. We're gonna make this one navigation controller and a root controller would just be our home controller. And don't forget to copy that line change we also need to make it on the app delegate. And before we give it a run, I'm gonna jump into this home view controller and let's go ahead and give this a title of home, just like that. Go ahead and give it a run and you'll see the home title up here, just like that. So it's really simple when you're doing this stuff in code. You know, if you wanted to have a tab bar controller, you would just uh, assign a base tab bar controller in the app delegate. And you don't have to worry about weird things with storyboard of, you know, did I update the class name there? Something isn't loading, it's crashing. Uh, it just dramatically simplifies uh, the readability and kind of the understanding of your app's lifecycle. Uh, the one thing I'll call out here is we still have a launch screen that storyboard. No way to get rid of this. This is basically the screen that shows as your app is launching, hence the name. But uh, you know, you don't connect any code to this. It's basically just there for visual aesthetic. But uh, but we have no more main storyboard. So if you're uh, if you're like me and you love uh, just doing it via code and you know no storyboard, then uh, this is uh, this is something you're probably going to want to start doing in your app. So that is all I've got for you guys today. Fairly simple video, like I said. Definitely important in my opinion. Uh, if you haven't done so already, destroy that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Hit subscribe if you're new and you found this video helpful and comment down below. Do you guys like this method? Do you like the storyboard? Do you prefer Swift UI? What are your thoughts? Love hearing from you guys. Um, that's all I've got. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.